So, I would like you guys all to meet my new best friend and welcome back to my channel and all that jazz. This is the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Lips 28 Color uh, Lipstick Palette. I ordered this when I was ordering which video I'm putting up first, the um, foiled eyeshadow because it was an $11 order and I just felt like if I was going to pay for shipping, I might as well get two things and I really had very low expectations for this. And even if I had had high expectations for this, this blew it, blew me away, blew it out of the, my expectations, out of the water. This is so good, and I think I paid eleven dollars because it was half price. And I'm pretty sure BH Cosmetics like only has things for half price. I cannot tell you. Oh, the ingredients are actually in this. Um, I can't tell if these ingredients are good or bad. Um, I'm sure it has like poly something or other. Yeah polysobutylene and polyethylene. So it has like polysporin type products, which argue some people like them, some people eat them. My lips love them. This does not bother my sensitive, peeling, burning, chemical burn getting lips at all. I had actually started thinking I wasn't gonna be able to wear a lot of lipsticks anymore. I was pretty much left with MAC. And not that MAC's not a great product, but sometimes a mama needs something cheap. So I'm gonna swatch these all for you not on my lips. Because of my sensitive lips, I do believe Shan XO did a full lip swatching video of all 28 lipsticks. Um, good for her. I ain't gonna do that because um, my lips would fall off and I care about aging and I don't wanna age and that would cause premature aging. Sadly, these do not have names on them. I like names or numbers or something. Um, I obviously have not tried them all, but I've tried a good amount. The other thing I really like about this is that you can mix basically your own custom lip color. What I have been using to apply this is so cheap. First, I was using an Essence angled uh, eye brush, but I misplaced it. So now I've been using, I have these e.l.f. Uh, lip liners. And on the end of it, they have these like cheesy little lipstick brushes. And this is what I have been using. I've also been using my fingers. So I bought this for myself, thinking I'll try it out. And if I really like it, I'll get one for using on clients. And I am going to be ordering another one to use on clients because for photo shoots, um, these are great. Uh, long wearing, I don't know if I'd use these on a bride um, unless she had brought her own similar to go lip product just because these are not long wearing, but they do leave a nice kind of popsicle stain on your lips. So I'm gonna swatch going from here over to here, and hopefully this does not make too much of a mess. I have my makeup wipey right here. So we're gonna start with you, and then you. Oh, that one's stiffer. And then you, and then you. I feel like the darker colors are a bit stiffer. Um, okay, so our first color is a peachy nude. So pretty, half worn it, doesn't make me look like a zombie. Our next color is a frozen pink, but do you see how pigmented these are? The next color is, oh, it looked, it's so funny that that showed up a professor, like a pink, and it looked so dark in the pan. And then the last one is more fluorescent pink. Like, this color here really interests me that it showed up so pink as opposed to like a darker red. I wonder if I layer it. Oh, it's kind of stuck in Fuchsiaville. Um, not that I don't like Fuchsia, like you have a place in my life, but do you see how pigmented these are? Um, and they're creamy and they don't let accent my lip lines. So we're gonna do row two, you, you. The darker colors are definitely less creamy. Like this guy is a little bit stiff. Okay, so the next one is another one that I love. Again, it's kind of a more rosy nude. And then we have uh, another fuchsia color. I'm gonna run out of ways of explaining bright pink. This one gives me serious zombie face. It's like a straight up uh, pale peach. And then another pink. Uh, that is the one thing this palette does not lack. It does not lack in its fuchsias, even a little bit. Okay, row three. And literally, this is why I'm not using it on clients because I've dipped my fingers all up in that business. Uh, okay, this one is a brown nude, not a good color on me. This one, oh, that's like a watermelon pink on me. Now I pull oranges and pinks out. This is one of my favorites. It's like a rosy color, yes. And then, oh look, another fuchsia. They're, they swear that they all look different. 
I think that's a lot of fuchsia. But again, if you like fuchsia, it's a good color. Okay, we're gonna do the middle row. You, you, yeah, these darker colors are just a lot stiffer. This is the one that I mixed this one and I think this one together today. Um, I actually can tell you. Okay, this first color I hate, but it's good for mixing to lighten up other colors. It's like an orangier version of that. Blech. And then that one is an orangier version of that. And then more of like a raspberry color. And then, oh look, a different form of fuchsia. Amazing. So let's move on. We're gonna left hand this. All right, so now we're doing this row. So you, 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 and that pale pink. So the first one, is a love for me and again is like a rosy it's more of a tawny nude and then a little bit of a sheer orangey red and then kind of a berry color and then like barbie pink i'm gonna call that sorry mattel if that is um some sort of copyright but i'm definitely gonna call it barbie pink okay so second to last row you know, oh here's one i haven't even touched yet because it's really pink. Oh, I missed a finger. Oh, we're gonna do oh, that last one was squishy. I just took up a lot of product. Oh, well, it is what it is. So the first one, I like did my fingers wrong. This one is really brown, kind of a Kylie Jenner lip color. I can't believe that has like a trademark. And then pink. And then what I expected of that first color, like a darker uh, raspberry, it has a little bit of balding to it. And then a really pretty rosy pink. I quite like that color. I would wear that. Um, oh god, this is so much messier than eyeshadow. I should have done I'm gonna do another eyeshadow video. Should have done that first. I kind of destroyed this color a little bit. I need to swatch a little bit gentlier. So this is our last row. So we have this darker color, this color, this color, and then one that really like totally does it for me. I don't know if any pink's gonna show up for my swatches, but this glittery kind of top coat. So going on, we have a browner, darker, less glossy version of that. That one is kind of a sheer orangey color. Oh look, fuchsia! And then we have glitter top coat, and I don't know if that glitter is gonna show up on the camera, but it's very pretty and very natural, and kind of makes your lips look plump when you stick it over top, which I will show you right now. So this is what my lips look right now. I'm going to take my little e.l.f. brush and dip it into the glitter. Wiggle it around in there, and then like it's kind of a, I don't know, I like glitter, but I don't think it's too much. Tell me what you think. So, I wonder if I can, so this is the palette, and these are the swatches, like, yeah. So I am so, so thoroughly impressed with these, like, they are very pretty. It does lean very pink. I just saw recently that they released a nude palette, a 28 nude palette, that I'm quite interested in picking up. Um, the only thing is make sure you snap this close. Um, the box, if I show you, but this is what the packaging looked like. It's very sleek and sophisticated. And again, this was dirt cheap and it doesn't bother my lips. The only thing is I think it makes my teeth, all the colors seem to pull out. Oh, I made a mess there. Um, a little bit of brown in my teeth but I kind of have brown teeth it's just it's a genetic thing I've asked my dentist um I'd have to get like full veneers to get them white and so pfft, not doing that uh so that is it like I'm really impressed I think these are worth the money um especially if you like pink lipstick and each one comes with how much in it do you say on the packaging no oh yeah um so 22.4 excuse me I'm dying it's 70 grams of product so if you get a good amount of lipstick you will get some use out of this and i would 100 percent repurchase this like i said i'm thinking about picking it up for clients for things like photo shoots because you can mix and match and if you put a lip color on something and you're like oh that should be a little bit darker or a little bit more fuchsia if it's ever wanted to be a little bit more fuchsia it's got you covered um so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more affordable swatching or you just like me, please like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.